Here is a practice exam question for determining the acceleration from a velocity time graph. The Apollo 15 mission landed on the moon in 1971. The astronaut David Scott dropped a hammer and a feather. They were released from rest at the same time and from the same height. The hammer and the feather landed at the same time. The graph shows how the velocity of the hammer changed with time. Use the graph to calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the moon. Give the unit. This question is worth three marks. You'll get one mark for the correct unit and two marks for the correct answer. However, if you mess up the calculation without showing the working, you could lose both these two marks. So, we'll show our working. That way, we will only lose one mark if the calculation is incorrect. Acceleration equals the gradient, which equals change in y divided by change in x. Using the values from the graph, this gives us 2 meters per second divided by 1.26 seconds. Be careful here. We can see 10 spaces represents 0.2 seconds. So each space must represent a tenth of this i.e. 0.02 seconds. So these three spaces represent 0.6 seconds which must be added on to the 1.2. So the answer is 1.59 meters per second squared. Two decimal places is fine for this exam. Double checking the units we can see the speed is in meters per second and the time is in seconds. So the unit is meters per second squared. We were correct. Let's look at one more example. The graph shows how the velocity of an aircraft changes as it accelerates along a runway. Use the graph to find the average acceleration of the aircraft. In this question, we need average acceleration. So we do the total change in velocity divided by the total time taken. The total change in velocity is 78 meters per second, as each of these small squares represents 2 meters per second, and we have four small squares above the 70. The total time taken is 60 seconds. 78 divided by 60 gives us an answer of 1.3 meters per second squared. Here, the units are already given. It is worth three marks because it's often considered more difficult to work out the average acceleration rather than just normal acceleration.